Okay, Gemini. This is going to be a uh, general reading for you guys for next week. Yeah, and I'm back to doing the recorded videos. I tried doing live last week, but I'm not really getting many views that much. So I'm going to go back to the recorded. I think live was a little bit more fun to do, though. All right. So for Gemini, I'm going to do a, a few oracle cards and then tarot reading. Okay. Planning. And my name is Jill, for those that don't know. Okay, now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Okay, nice. And I'm going to use the Spirit Animal Oracle here. Raven, Shaman. You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the, the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Okay. All right, keeper of the mysteries. <laughs> and one romance oracle. True love. Okay. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right. True love, Gemini. Let's see what comes out here for the tarot. Oh, jeez. Oh, this card just it jumped out. It's the Four of Cups. And it just feels like maybe... I don't know, missed opportunities or missing the points, but talks about, you know, wake up, you know, kind of like, uh, sometimes see what's right in front of you. All right. Jeez. Okay. So this is Gemini for next week. And uh, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, share, like, all that kind of good stuff, it'd be uh, cool. Uh, when you subscribe, it can help me to kind of like pick up a little more on your energy. So, kind of something to help us both there. I hope that's not cut off. Okay, the cards. And every sign has a power color. And yours is yellow. And uh, if you guys ever want to see me do different spreads or if you did like the live or any of that, just let me know in the comments. I know most people don't really like to comment, but if you guys want to see something different, got to say something. Or, and I don't mind constructive criticism either. So I'm open to things and ideas. Okay. I hope you guys can see these cards okay on camera. It might be a little hard to see. They're a little bit hard for me to see here, so they're probably hard for you to see on camera. But there are fire signs and air signs, earth, water. I'm trying to see if there's any signs that stand out here. So Virgo, Leo. signs stand out and I'm just looking at the cards so just so trying to you know get feelings off of them so I'm just 
All right, so you start off here with the Six of Wands. So this is showing uh, that you guys, either right now or, or soon, might be recognized by others for your hard work. It's uh, like a card of victory, and so it could be promotion, but it's generally great news. Now, it could also be that maybe you guys have a large following of supporters and or having several propositions. So maybe there's different choices, several prop propositions that you have. All right. Up next, you have the High Priestess. So with this, this is about intuition, insight, psychic abilities, so uh, inner knowledge, uh, also fertility and emotions. But in the position that it is in, I don't know if it's a bit of an, something's a bit of an issue, like with your, with your spirituality or if it's an issue with your intuition right now. Maybe like, do you trust your intuition right now? Maybe it's on your mind. You're trying to figure out if you should trust that or something. But it just does, it also can say, consider your next steps carefully. And for some of you, there might be actual like changes that are taking place on the inner planes right now. Okay, so next up here. So with the Hermit here, this is about self-discovery. Solitude, inner wisdom, shows you might need a break or maybe you're taking a break. Again, it's about spiritual studies. So it looks like you guys are becoming more spiritual right now. Or maybe you're just learning more of something to do with it, spirituality. A lot of people have been getting the, the Hermit card here. I think more people are just becoming more spiritual. That is such a hard word for me to say. <laughs> But um, yeah, it looks like you guys can carve out some time for yourself and do some self-discovery. You know, so maybe some of you can become a little more independent and kind of like make your own way. Now this also, for some of you, might need just a reminder that there's no true love with um, another person, you know, unless you love yourself first. So I'm sure someone might, maybe just a reminder for someone to hear their so next up strength so again we have this like inner we have the strength this inner you have inner knowledge strength this is yeah there's changes taking place for you guys looks like but this can be a card of like compassion and patience and courage and perseverance now it can also be about uh, forgiveness so i don't know if there's something you need to forgive or if somebody needs to forgive you but Again, this is saying that there might be some spiritual forces at work in your life. So you have a couple cards saying that. So, and then you have the shaman right here too. Goodness, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. It's, anyways. So with the strength, it's also, some of you might feel like you're being tested right now. Maybe you are. Maybe that's what all the spiritual stuff is. I don't know why you're going through everything. But it could be that you're, you know, like I said going through something here. Next up, you do have the Three of Swords. Okay, so with this, this is a card that maybe there's sorrow, disappointment, maybe your heart is healing from something. Um, I don't know for some if there was a love triangle or something, but it could be that it could just be healthy misunderstandings also. But if your heart and stuff, if you're not healing from something, then which a lot of you, if there is a broken heart at all, and you're, that's where you're going through a spiritual thing could be right now, but this can also mean for some of you just to get a health checkup, you know, just make sure everything's all right. Next up here, you have the Four of Cups. So what this, this is about, this is the one that actually popped out in the beginning. And I put it back in the deck and I always say if it's meant to be, it comes out again. It just did. So this is, if you remember me saying it's about like missed opportunities or missing the point on something. Uh, I don't know if there's distractions or maybe a little boredom even. But the card says to wake up. You know, some of you might have some type of fears and doubts or insecurities over something. But it's saying don't let self-doubt overtake you. Now, it can also say that stubbornness can keep you from right timing. 
So it says, wake up. Also, sometimes it's about like waking up to what's right in front of you. Next up. So with the five of wands here, this is about like conflicts, differences of opinions. It's saying to walk away from things like that. And that's just not a time to really present new ideas. And if you have to, then try a different way of doing it. So it can be a setback or power struggles for some of you. So up next you have the Queen here of Pentacles, and this is showing peace and tranquility. So this shows like someone who likes to help others, like you like to help, shows a very hardworking person. Usually represents a hardworking career woman, but you don't have to be a woman. And uh, it does show like you're generous. And also kind of like you have, like you're good at gathering resources. And it is a card of security and abundance. And in the position that it is in, it could be on your mind. You know, if it's maybe you want this, you want to have this peace and tr tranquility and security and abundance. Maybe that's on your mind, but it does show up here. So next up. So your last card out here is a seven of pentacles. So this shows seeds well planted. Efforts will be rewarded in the future. Just the need for patience and a little faith, a little perseverance. It shows profit, some type of reward. So it can be a little unnecessary worry. But it does show that you take pride in your work. Okay, and at the end here, I am pulling uh, an extra tarot card, kind of like clarifying card. I'm going to call it a clarifying card and uh, using out of my Chinese deck here. Ace of Pentacles. Nice. Okay. So this for some of you or a couple of you or maybe one of you, <laughs> no, it can be a windfall of abundance, uh, but it's a card of good fortune can be an exciting career opportunity or lucrative contract for some of you. Others of you, you might be getting a new home or vehicle. So this does also show that there's a, it's a promise that a better way of life is possible. And it's also a reminder to be grateful for things that usually we would take for granted. All right, you guys, again, if you don't mind subscribing, I'd appreciate it. It helps me to pick up on your energy more and, uh, you know, share, like, all that kind of great stuff. And another video should be popping up. You might want to check it out. All right, you guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it.